Hello everyone, and welcome back to Worker Vault's Gun Reviews. As always, I'm CD, but before we get started, I need to address last week's episode. My YouTube account was hijacked and a video was provided without my knowledge. I apologize for the inconvenience. I must also address the correction saying I have made derogatory statements regarding hunters. I have never said hunters are bad, I only deal in facts. If you have chosen to take these facts and construe them in a way to make hunters bad, then that is your own prejudice. Time for the Hereafter Review. You will immediately notice the unique trait of the Hereafter, the heart monitor. It is easily visible on the gun's sight, and it helps the user decide if the character is calm enough to take the shot. The one downside to this perk is that you cannot be aiming down the sights to see how your guardian is handling the pressure, resulting in a lot of zooming in and out before taking a shot. Our first test for the Hereafter compares its zoom range. As you can see with the Titan, it has a fairly average range, but the gun actually has a very special perk for hunters. When a hunter looks down the sights, it actually zooms in much more than usual, helping these poorly trained predators have a better chance of catching their prey. We also tested the gun's melee capabilities. We first tried the jousting technique of poking, without much success. We also tried a right-handed batter swing, and the gun still failed. Compared to the Titan's punch, this gun falls far short of expectations. Next, we examine the gun's ability to shoot down a passing warsat. As can be seen here, the Hereafter seems to miss every shot without a single warsat hitting the Cosmodrome. Compared to the Gajalamorn, while still just a year one exotic, which easily takes down a warsat. Finally, we tested accuracy. By this time, my controller stopped turning right. Therefore, all shots had to be aimed by spinning left. Even with dizziness and being disoriented, the gun still excelled with what I assume is 90% accuracy. So, should you aim for the hereafter? Well, with three of coins, you'll easily have 10. The heart rate monitor is just a novelty and the black spindle is still out there. The sound is cool though, and it kind of looks like Ghostbusters. 1.3. And once again, I want to give a sincere thank you to Boney to Beastly, Salvador, Harris, Jason, Tim, Kristoff, Brandon, Jonas, Chad, Jason, and Robert for supporting me on Patreon. I really do appreciate the support, guys. Thank you so much. <laughs>